the Severe Storms Lab has been using radar to detect thunderstorms since its inception in 1964. But the Union City tornado was a, a watershed event where it was the first time a tornado had been observed by Doppler weather radar, and that was a game changer. With our Norman Doppler radar that became operational in 1971, we started looking at tornadic storms. And at the same time, there was interest in finding out what was going on beneath the storm. When and where did the tornadoes form? And so we established a tornado intercept team that would be guided by radar and by the forecast to go to storms that we thought would be producing tornadoes. My responsibilities on the day of the Union City tornado were to, to help guide the intercept teams based on looking at the weather radar data, the WSR-57 mostly because we didn't have many displays of the Doppler, of the newly developed Doppler. They came later. So we looked at the, at the weather radar and then we guided the storm intercept teams to put them in the right place so that they might see what was going on with the storm and help to verify the Doppler signatures. The intercept teams made very good time-lapse movies and real-time movies of the tornado for a better understanding of how tornadoes evolve. The tornado occurred early enough in the afternoon that we were able to do an aerial damage survey that late afternoon and early evening before sunset. It started a number of miles to the uh, west of Union City and most of the people in the area were aware the tornado was coming, but it passed right through the center of the small farming community of Union City and did major damage there. And, and although we started the damage survey and did that first aerial survey the same day, we continued to do damage surveys out there in the Union City area for weeks afterwards. And we got to know many of the people fairly well because we saw them on a daily basis as we ate in their cafe and walked all of the fields and uh, collected uh, additional, very precise data. It wasn't an immediate discovery. We saw the data a few months after it was collected and we began to see these strange signatures probably six months after the data was collected. The Doppler radar data revealed a rotation signature of a tornado that appeared aloft in the storm 15, 20, 25 minutes before the tornado touched down. And that was what, what became called the Tornadic Vortex Signature, or TVS. And, and that signature now has gone on to be used operationally and helps get that lead time in tornado situations. The data collection at Union City and then some other events like it that followed and the further development of Doppler and the displays all suggested that the operational capability was important and, and could be used. That led to testing something called the Joint Doppler Operational Project in the late 70s. And, and all of those steps were the forerunners of the NextRad program and all the weather radars that we have around the country now. We've come a long way from the days of the Union City tornado when you were looking at a black and white screen. We've made lots of advances that have increased our ability to provide tornado warning lead time. And now we're to the point where we're looking at phased array technology so that we can better understand what's happening in the storm so that we can produce better warnings. <laughs>